Okay, this is Minecraft, but I transformed the overworld into the nether. Today, the nether has spread out of its dimension, replacing every single block in Minecraft. This means that I can find nether versions of every structure, as well as bastions and fortresses, by simply exploring the overworld. Caves are also made entirely out of netherrack, which makes finding diamonds insanely fast. Can I make it to the Blackstone Stronghold, and what will the nether look like? Stay tuned to find out. And guys, we're coming up on 1 million subscribers with only 20 one videos, which is actually insane. It's still not insane enough, okay? If you're in that 85% of my viewers who aren't subscribed yet, you should definitely go ahead and join the Before 900k Club by subscribing. It's completely free and you can always change your mind later. Lastly, drop a like for the YouTube algorithm and without any more delay, let's go. Okay, this world is actually insane. This right here is a forest biome, I think. And as you can see, every single block has been replaced. Right there is a river, and it's just entirely made of lava. That is actually crazy. I see some black stone there as well, which is going to be so good for getting, like, stone tools. So let's just go ahead and make ourselves a wooden pickaxe really quickly. There we go. And if I just collect some black stone right here, we can make ourselves a set of stone tools. Wait, is there a cave behind this? Dude, look at this. Oh my, that's iron ore. It's, like, merged with the nether egg. That is actually insane. So let's just go ahead and make ourselves stone tools and begin exploring. I'm actually going to collect a bunch of mushrooms as well, since this is like easy food. And also some more logs as well. There we go. Ooh, I see something. What is this? This is a pillager tower. Already, I have found a new structure. This is actually insane. Okay, I'm definitely going to take these hay bales right here for food. And apparently they don't have weapons. What is going on, dude? This vindicator is just running at me with its fists. Anything good? We have four iron and food. Okay, and with this iron, I'm going to make an iron pickaxe because I can't actually get water since literally Literally everything is just turned into lava. Oh wait, I see something over there. I think there's a village over there, dude. Okay, let's just jump onto these vines right here and just leave. Oh, and some brown mushrooms as well. I will definitely take that. Hold up, is that like a desert biome to my right? It's replaced with soul soil, I think. I see a desert well and a sheep for some reason. Um, I'm not gonna question it. And this right here is a nether version of a village. Dude, oh my. Do you guys see that? Those aren't normal villages. What is this? They're literally pigs. What is this? And the golem has been attacked by something. There must have been like Zoglins in this pen and it's like had to fight them. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and kill the golem really quickly. And this should be enough iron for me to get like a bucket, but I don't even know if that's gonna be useful. I guess I'll just make one anyway. A lava bucket is always good and there's a bunch of hay bales here too, so we're just gonna grab all of these and then I can just be set on food for the rest of this video. Okay. Oh, there's nether wart instead of wheat. This could be quite good because I can make potions if I somehow get blaze rods. And I know for a fact that nether structures spawn in this overworld, so if I run around for long enough, I should find like a bastion or a fortress. So we can definitely make potions later on. And this is a leather worker house. Okay, let's just go ahead and... Dude, five emeralds, bread, and a saddle. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a horse anywhere, but like, I will take it either way. Can I trade with this guy? Three emeralds for pink leather trousers. Let's go. That is an OP trade, and it's becoming nighttime, dude. Okay, I wonder if beds explode. If they explode, I'm literally just going to be killed right now. Please don't explode. Okay, it works. We can actually sleep, luckily. There we go. Okay. Okay, I see an acacia biome over here, so I could explore that and try and find like a village or something. There's a cave right here, which I could go down. I see a bunch of iron and stuff, and I see a desert temple. Oh, and there's a ravine right here as well, so I can just go down and collect a bunch of materials like right after this. And a horse. Yes, I'm definitely going to tame one of those. Okay, let's check out this nether desert temple. I hope the loot is good, dude. Is that TNT? That is TNT. Anything good in the chests? We have three diamonds, some string, golden apple, some more iron, and like a bunch of... Oh, I saw wolves as well, so bones is definitely good. And I'm just going to take all of this TNT with me. Okay, do I want to go down this ravine or do I want to search even more? I feel like, honestly, I'm just going to tame this horse and see if I can find any other structures because, like, a bastion or a fortress would be pretty good, not going to lie. And there we go. Our pony has tamed. Now we venture into this acacia biome, hoping that I can find, like, a nether fortress. I'm going to kill some pigs for food as well because we're kind of running low. I can make mushroom soup, actually. Dude. There is literally a bastion right there. This is ridiculous. Okay, at least there aren't piglins because, like, it's the overworld and stuff. Are you kidding me? I see a piglin, dude. I literally see a piglin walking around. How are you here? This is not the right dimension. There's literally so many. Okay, well, at least the gold is, like, nice and away from the main bastion area. So we're just gonna grab some netherrack right now and we're gonna bridge up. Why is there a... Do they always not have a weapon? Dude, I don't even know what's going on right now. Piglin, you gotta chill. We're gonna put you in the lava. Okay, we are taking these gold blocks. Luckily, there aren't any other piglins, like, nearby. There's a hoglin right there, so I could kill that for food, but I think, honestly, after I take this, I'm just gonna leave, because I'm impatient all might. That was the best clutch. But I'm gonna have to fight piglin brutes if I wanna trade, and I definitely wanna do that later on, so we're gonna go caving right now. And to do that, we have to find a cave, so I'm just gonna run around. I guess we're going to the ravine. Okay, this looks pretty good anyway, so- Oh no, dude! 
I don't have water. That was actually close. Okay. So does this just like work? Like no it's literally just smeltable or made out of netherrack. And dude, this netherrack is so easy to mine. There's also blackstone down here. Should I just dig straight down? Is that a bad idea? I found something. Oh, I found a skeleton. Okay. And a creeper. Luckily we have a lava bucket, so I can just go ahead and do this. There we go. And dead. Okay. This is actually the coolest looking cave I've ever seen. Holy. It would be even cooler if there were diamonds though. Not gonna lie. Oh, there's lapis right here. And the creeper is following me for some reason. And there's another skeleton. No, no, no. This is dangerous. There is lava literally everywhere. I wonder if there's a way that I could get to the nether because I know the nether has been switched with the overworld. So there are overworld blocks in there. I will somehow get obsidian later in this video and show you guys. Okay. I don't know how. I'll probably have to find like ruined portals, but it's gonna happen. Okay. Oh, I found a mine shaft and it's made out of like crimson planks. This should mean that I can find diamonds nice and easily. So hopefully we can get lucky right now. Are there any chests nearby? Oh wait, massive ravine, dude. I can probably get diamonds right here. I just have to be so careful because I don't have any water. If I fall in this lava, I am literally gone. So I think the best idea is to uh, ladder clutch. Let's go. Oh, diamonds right here. Okay, there are literally so many mobs around me. So just like before, we're gonna uh, just block clutch and put that above our head. We're not being risky at all. Don't even worry about it. Please be a good vein of diamonds. It's a good vein. It's definitely a good vein. How many is this? I think it was a six vein. So we have nine in total right now, which means that I can make a pickaxe and I think I'm gonna make a sword as well. And then finally, diamond boots because it matches the pink trousers, kind of. Don't question it, okay? Oh my, more diamonds right there. This is probably enough armor for me to go inside the bastion now, honestly. Oh yeah, I should get a shield as well. That would be a kind of good idea. How many is this? Four. I guess I'll just save those and I'm also gonna make a gold helmet since the piglins won't attack me if I wear that. Make a shield. There we go. Oh yeah, and since this is netherrack, if I use TNT, I can probably like find so many diamonds or at least like extra caves because it blows up really easily. So let's just go ahead and like do all of this. Bang. Okay, I gotta run. All right. This is slightly dangerous. Please be a good idea. And did we find anything? I see lapis. I see redstone. Part of me is just expecting to find ancient debris, but obviously that just isn't going to be here. The final piece of TNT. Give me some diamonds, please. And nothing, but we did get flint, so that's kind of good. Okay, that was a pretty successful mining trip. I'm going to try and get some more iron on the way up, but I think I have enough gear now to actually find a fortress and also a bastion and actually beat the game. So this is going to be pretty crazy. Oh, it's becoming nighttime. No, 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 no. I am not dealing with those mobs. I must sleep. Okay, I'm back at the village, but I think I saw like, yes, a ruined portal. Okay, so this is my obsidian right here. If I get this, then I can make inch... Oh my, there's literally a fortress right there, dude. Okay, well, I found pretty much everything I need. I can definitely make enchants if I just mine this. Okay, I think that was only nine obsidian, but I'm gonna dig around for the- Yes, anything good inside? We have golden carrots and obsidian. Oh, I'm literally one off making a nether portal and having enough for an enchantment table, but honestly, I'm fine with not getting enchants right now because we do have some pretty decent gear. And before I go into the fortress, I think I'm just gonna start smelting the iron that I collected because, like, I can make a chest plate and then also maybe, like, an anvil later. That could be kind of good. And after this, we're gonna go into the overworld nether and I guess find, like, piglins or... I don't even know. Iron chest plate, there we go. And is there or anything else that I could use like a actually I'll make a diamond axe why not and I think I'm ready to go so let's just head straight towards that blaze spawner right there bridge over this lava river there are wither skeletons here without weapons again I'm not even gonna question it wait if they don't have a weapon are they like oh no they're definitely not weak okay they still do the wither effect oh and I see a blaze I don't have fire res so I have to be kind of careful here bang did I get a rod no. Okay, how do I get blazes to spawn in the overworld? Do I have to, like, make a roof or something? I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, let's just, like, make a box right here and hope that eventually a blaze will spawn. Yes, it's working. There is a blaze here. Now, just give me a blaze rod. Oh, yes, we got it. Let's go. We are slowly progressing in this cursed dimension. Two more blazes. Okay, come on. And eight blaze rods. Okay. It's literally nighttime. I entered here when it was day. Okay. Oh, there's a wolf here. I can get a dog right now. Let's go. Hello, dog. Now, attack. Yes. Let's go. I should get dogs more in my videos. They are very cool. Why is there snow here? Well, there's another ruined portal, so I can actually get enough obsidian to make my enchants. So that is very good. Is that another desert temple as well? Okay. I'm just going to hide in this desert temple and sleep because I do not want to like... Oh, wait, no. Am I going to go on the pressure plate when I wake up? Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. Oh, my. Wolf. Don't do it. 
Okay, anything good in these? We have two iron, a golden apple, and a sharpness one book, some more string. And finally, we have sharpness five. That is actually insane. Okay, I'm gonna search for another bastion and then maybe trade my gold there. I see another village. Wait, this is a desert village. I can probably make potions as well right now. Oh, is that a blacksmith? I think that's a blacksmith right here. Anything good in the chest? We have even more diamonds. Wait, can I make an enchantment table now? Yeah, if I get leather, which is literally on the books right here too. Yo, let's go. This is actually amazing. So if I just go ahead and do this and then this and place a book right here, we already have the lapis. So I'm just going to place this right here. And now I can enchant my stuff Fire Aspect's one sword. Ooh, that is tempting. Is there anything else that could be good? Unbreaking. I think Fire Aspect is honestly the best. Fire Aspect 1, Sharpness 1. And now if I get an Anvil as well, then I can make that a Fire Aspect 1, Sharpness 5 sword. Oh yeah, I'll take the apples actually, because what I can do is just make them golden, because like, I have so much gold right now. I'm just going to continue running around, dude. This is actually so insane, like just seeing the structures. Ooh, I found a swamp right here. There are literally lily pads on top of lava. They do not live in this biome. I can literally jump on these lily pads. This is cursed. That's definitely not a good idea. It's definitely just going to disappear below my feet or something. Oh my, I found another Bastion. This one is a treasure Bastion as well. So that's going to be like a huge, insanely OP chest. I'm definitely going to have to use all of this gear because like there's going to be a lot of pickling brutes and stuff in here, but we can do it, okay? We have our trusty pink pants and diamond boots. Oh, I see another wolf. Okay, I'm going to tame this guy and use him to kill the pickling brutes for me. Does that mean? Is it going to get like insta-killed? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. He's OP. Now, do I want to go into the treasure room first or do I want to go into to the yeah i'm gonna wait to go into the treasure room honestly i'm just gonna take a look is there anything like okay yeah magma cubes piglins no we are going to the nice part first i can use some tnt just to grab some blocks right here as well let's just grab a bunch of netherrack right now oh i'm so lucky my wolf teleported and now we can just do pro minecraft wall running and go oh my that's not good i somehow scrolled i don't even know what just happened okay wall running v2 you guys saw nothing last time dude i hear the piglin brutes already oh my it's literally right there oh boy all i gotta do is get to the top of this we have a double chest full of amazing loot okay oh no the wolf died that is not ideal. That's why I felt bad about taming it. Okay, it's fine. He served me well. Okay, we have more obsidian. We have a bunch of gold right here. And I will take the spectral arrows and the arrows as well. Since they'll definitely be good for the dragon fight. And then if I just go through here, we should have another chest room. Um, Piglin, just uh, just be distracted. You know, don't even worry about me opening these chests. Mending sword, diamond shovel. Very cool. Completed the set. And also an iron block and ancient debris. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, if I get a netherite pickaxe, I can enchant it and then just insta break all of the netherrack and get full diamonds so quickly. There's just so much I want to do in this world, man. It's actually insane. Oh, if I can get fire reds from one of these piglins, though. Oh my, I accidentally block clutched right there. Is he attacking me with a stone shovel? I don't even know what's going on right now. Oh yes, finally, dude, I got fire reds. This is so good because I can just like chill in the lava pit in the treasure place. So, oh, there are creepers and stuff in here. Okay, we're going to drink the fire reds, make some ladders for clutching, and we're going to go. Watch this. Oh my, okay, you saw nothing. Don't even worry about it. Okay, and if I just distract this piglin, we can finally loot this chest. Okay, two netherite ingots. Holy, look how many gold blocks. Diamonds and iron blocks too, so we can make our sharpness five sword. Okay, that is literally all I need. I can do my piglin trading in the actual nether after I build my portals. So we're just gonna get out of here and stack up even more. Okay, before we build this portal, there's a couple of things I wanna do right now. So first of all, we're gonna make an anvil. We have the exact amount, so we can just go ahead and like do this. There we go. Fire aspect one sharpness five and there's also gravel right here which is perfect because i want to make a netherite sword and a netherite pickaxe because like a sharpness five by a one netherite pickaxe would be pretty op not gonna lie crimson planks go here and this goes here and now oh wait no what am I doing? That is not how you make a smithing table. Okay, um, I guess we're finding iron this way. There's literally some right here, so we're fine. Get our black stone for the furnace, and then we can finally make our smithing table and make this into a netherite sword. There we go. Netherite pickaxe as well. Okay, we are definitely quite stacked right now. We still have the OP leather trousers. And the final thing I need is a flint and steel, so we're just gonna do this until I get a piece. There we go, flint and steel. I hear a skeleton somewhere. And now it is time to check out the overworld. Holy dude. Like this portal and it is time. Let's see this. Oh my, this is actually crazy. Look at this dude. It's like a forest biome and overworld mobs are spawning. Oh, I see piglins. Okay. Yeah, we can definitely do our trading here. I just need to find as many piglins as possible and get them in a pit. There is literally water instead of lava in the nether. This is actually crazy. Okay. Uh, I just need to dig into the wall. No, no. Go away, Hoglin. Go away, Hoglin. You know what? No, I have a shield. I can do this. We have a sharp five netherite sword. Like we can literally like three tap these. Okay. So I'm just going to collect as many piglins as possible right now. Let's just like break another gold block and make sure that they're following me. Okay. 
and then go in the hole. Yes, it is working. We have five piglins right now, and I can just like keep getting infinite food from these hoglins with our OP sword. I already got pearls. I literally saw them already. This is actually insane. Okay, three ender pearls already, and we can put like another just entire stack of gold. Actually, we'll put another stack of gold in. Why not? Like three stacks is pretty good. Is there anything else that I could get from the nether? That's the question. We have some more fire as, which is good. But honestly, like, because we have the blaze rods already, all I need is the pearls and then we can go back. So, uh, oh yeah, I can actually get a water bucket, which is impossible to get in the overworld. So let's just do that right now. This hoglin's going for a swim. What is going on? Anything else? We have a bunch of arrows. Do Dude, so many. Two stacks of spectral. Any more pearls? Oh my, 13 pearls. Literally one more pearl trade and I have everything I could ever want. And there we go. 15 ender pearls. That is literally exactly how many I need. Uh, just go away, Hoglin. Do not come into the overworld. So what I'm going to do right now is make myself a god pickaxe because like since all of the caves are made from netherrack, I can just insta break all of this as soon as I get like efficiency one or efficiency two. So all I need right now is lapis and we just found some, which is perfect. I think I used the the old lapis on like my fire aspect sword so we got some more there we go efficiency one is my highest level enchant okay i think i'm just gonna be safe and enchant like leggings first because like if efficiency one isn't good enough then i think i'm just gonna have to get books and it'll be annoying so i'm just gonna try and get a level eight yeah okay efficiency two there we go perfect and does this yes let's go dude that was a big brain play okay so now to get a full set of diamond armor all i have to do right now is just insta break all of this netherrack and eventually i should just find some diamond ore so let's just keep doing this more lapis i will definitely take it since i can get like more enchants and stuff with this and I found diamonds. They're part of a cave, but like, I will take it either way. How much do I need for full diamond? We need uh 13 in total. So I'm hoping this is a big vein. It might be, how much is this? Five? Yeah, five. Okay, I will take it though. We can just go ahead and make ourselves a diamond helmet. So let's just do this. And the last piece we need, oh my, more diamonds right here. The last piece is the chest plate. We have a five vein right here. So literally one more diamond vein and we're going to be good to go. More diamonds. Let's go. They stick out so much out of this nether act too. It's actually insane. Okay, is it more than three? It is. It is definitely more than three. Ten diamonds in total right now, which means that I can go ahead and make myself a diamond chest plate. I'm going to mine this lapis as well, since I definitely want to enchant all of this diamond armor. And I'm also going to kill these skeletons. Ten levels in total. I'm just going to put prot one on my chest plate, prot one on my boots, prot one on my helmet. There we go. And then finally, uh, we got to enchant the shovel. It has to be done. Efficiency one. Okay, I think it's time. We're going to go to the stronghold and finally beat Minecraft. I wonder what the nether themed stronghold looks like, though. This is going to be kind of crazy. Or oh, even more diamonds. It looks like a one vein but i will take it and wait is that a giant strider dude look how crazy that definitely real giant strider is and if you made it this far in the video leave a comment about how op the giant strider was confusing the people who didn't make it this far is my new favorite hobby so everybody comment okay and we are back on the surface so let's just go ahead and make ourselves eight ender eyes right now and throw one just like that there we go it went like sort of this direction so let's just continue running went back by the bastion i wonder if there's anything else i could get because honestly i really want a crossbow right now like that would be so good for pairing with our two stacks of spectral arrows so okay there's no long lanterns which means that there's no chests at the bottom but there could be some at the top i think maybe any long lanterns i see long lanterns okay yeah if you guys ever want to find chests look for lanterns with two chains anything good in here we have a crossbow multi-shot okay i will take that it's only multi-shot one i think it goes up to like two or three i don't even know dude but either way that is going to be amazing for the dragon fight okay anyway now we can just go ahead and leave the bastion and throw another eye no, why has it gone inside? I think it broke anyway, so it's fine. Still this way, okay. And I see the bridge bastion in the distance. I mean, oh, maybe I could get another crossbow and combine it with this one. I feel like that's a bit overkill, but we're gonna do it anyway, okay? I'm just, I don't know, it just has to be done. I see a chest room up there, so there definitely could be another crossbow. Maybe quick charge as well, if I'm lucky, I don't know. Okay, any crossbow? Uh, we have a golden apple, but no crossbow. And nothing in these chests. Okay, I do see a sword, actually. Is there anything good? Looting two, hold up. That's actually insane. Anything in this chest we have two more gold blocks and the final chest has a crossbow perfect okay so actually it's probably an even better idea to keep both of these and just use them separately okay let's just jump down here use our water bucket that shouldn't even be in this dimension okay it's kind of slightly changing directions so i think it should be nearby oh it changed again it's literally in these like next four chunks or something if i just throw this here it goes straight down okay i think i found it and we found it okay this is apparently the stronghold it's entirely made of blackstone this is crazy man Dude, this sword is just actually so insane. 
Oh, I found a library. Maybe there's a good book inside of this. We have just some regular books, which I could actually just use to increase my enchantment levels, but I think we're stacked enough, to be honest, with our shot by netherite sword. And then in here, we have mending and fire protection. I don't really need that, so it's going to keep running around. A chest right here. We have some bread and iron leggings, which I don't really need. And then we have... Oh, I found the portal room. This actually looks so cool. And there's one iron side, which is perfect, because that's literally what I need, I think. Oh, wait, no, I was fine anyway. I had more than enough pearls. Okay, I was going to do this. We have one left over over for when the dragon perches. And now we are in the end. We have escaped that insanely cursed dimension. Holy. Also, if this video somehow gets 75k likes, I will do another version of this video, but with the end dimension instead. That would be so insane, like end cities in the overworld. Anyway, let's just go ahead and shoot down all of these crystals. Oh, dude, the dragon's perching. Okay, uh, I have one bed. Should I just try and get a bed? Here we go. Place obsidian like this and... Bang! Okay, that was some good damage, but there's still crystals. No, 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 stop healing, dragon. Okay, all of the crystals are gone now, I think. So now it is time to take out the multi-shot bow. Bang! Okay, we got a hit. Watch this. Bang! Bang! Oh, yes, let's go. Dude, I can just dual wield both of these crossbows. And the dragon's perching right now, so we can get some amazing hits with our sharp five sword. Oh, my. Oh, no. Dude, wait. If I miss this, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> I never miss. It's whatever. I actually don't. Like, I literally don't. I'm going to be streaming speedruns right after this video, so you guys can see for a fact that I don't miss MLGs. It's punching again already? Holy. I can get some good multi-shot shots in right here, too. Bang. Bang. Okay, let's get in here. Come here, dragon. Yes, dude. Oh my, look how much damage this sword does. That was actually insane. Multi-shot is so insane, dude. It's punching again. It's actually been like one second. That's actually so good. Oh my, I can get crits as well. It's dead. It's literally done. No, bad. Bad dragon. Yes, dude, let's go. I somehow shot myself with a spectral arrow as well. I'm not even going to question it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. That was such a cool video to record, honestly. I had to replace like 1.5 billion blocks and it was just a crazy video to set up. But yeah, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all later. Peace.